Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Timothy Ryan Scully, the Idea Wizard, doing his postmortem for Game Design 3. The date is December 8th, 2011, with the time of 12.50. Basically, all I'm going to do for this little presentation is show you how I feel, how I think, and why I think we can do better in this course. And for those of you who aren't part of the course or who are not my professor, Mr. Morrison, this is basically for a class called Game Design 3 in Camden County College. And this is my post-mortem. Basically, I just tell them how I'm doing. We, all the students, are either writing a paper or making a video about what we could do better. And this is my little post-mortem. So I'm going to start off with... Basically how I felt about this semester, and to tell you the truth, I felt better than last time. I had a very, very rough entry into the game design industry. I was made producer on my very first video game project ever, and it was a very rough ride. I had a hard time handling some of the students there. I won't name which, and Professor Morrison, you know who I'm talking about. But I learned very valuable skills. I learned how to be a team player. Instead of just pushing my ideas, I push the team's ideas. And I work with the team instead of in conflict with it. For those of you who want to be in video game design, if you're going to be a producer, it's not going to be your idea. It's going to be everyone else's, and you're going to make it happen. And if you're going to be a game designer, it's still not only your idea. It's the team's idea. It's a multifaceted project. You're just one organ in a whole body. All right, that's how I feel. What do I think? I think we need a damn production schedule, is what I think. I think we need a checklist, and I think we need to be more specific about what was needed when. And I'm not talking about you, Mr. Morrison. I'm talking to my producer, and I'm talking to my tech team. Yes, I understand I can't be super literal, but at the same time, I shouldn't have to be. The truth is, if you just contact us, communicate, we can know ahead of time what's needed, when, why, where, the whole nine yards. We all need to be kept in a loop. And yes, I could have worked harder to be in a loop. I could have just asked more specific questions. I'll remember that for next semester. All I'm asking is that we know what was done. I had to contact the producer, and he had to contact everyone about making sure that everything that Dan needed was there because he made several to-do lists, and even though he wasn't checking them off, the fact is we weren't checking them, period. It seemed like everyone was starting to do their own thing at the very end, and that's what happens. We get bored, we start to disassemble. We need to assimilate more. All right, that's my opinion. What I think we could do better, well, I guess I covered that too. So, let me put it this way. All we really need to do is that update the website more. I need to start writing it myself. I'm a big shot writer, so I might as well put my writing skill to good use. And the producer just needed to be uh, earlier, be more prompt, and have a schedule. And the art team needs to just lay back on my ideas. I laid back. I would like it very much if everyone else did. You know who I'm talking to. Uh... And that's it. We did great otherwise. We did excellent. We were on time. We had our shit done. We had our stuff done. We had our things done. And that's all I have to say. My only concern, though, is that with conflicts that arose recently, we may have problems if they arise again. This has been my fault. But my fault or not, I'm done with it. I love the idea that we don't go over somebody's house because, frankly, that can be a recipe for disaster. Even if I'm not the instigator, if someone else is, or if something BS happens. So, yeah. We just need to meet at the college. And I think we should have separate meetings for separate teams. Tech team needs to have a meeting. Art team needs to have a meeting. Design, testing, whatever team needs to have a meeting. And that's actually going to be more convenient because an eight-member meeting may not be possible 
unless we do it at somebody's house during the weekend or our schedules don't conflict, which they might. That's just a heads up for you, my professor, and for all of you out there who want to become a video game designer, remember, there is no I in team. There is a me, but not a you. Got it? Good. See ya.